Yeah, welcome back guys. I hope all of you are doing good and especially first semester students who are currently studying in colleges which are under VTU or which are affiliated to VTU being autonomous. I hope you guys are really preparing seriously for your upcoming semester and examinations. This video will be basically upon how to study for your mathematics examination or the mathematics subject precisely and I'll be talking about how you can sail through this mathematics part because for many of you mathematics will be challenging or you'll be feeling mathematics a bit difficult compared to other things so uh, mathematics being the first subject it becomes important that you should be doing really good in it so that that will give you confidence in the upcoming subjects too for that reason I'll be talking about things which you can do during your preparation to uh, enhance your journey or make this journey very smooth and make you or enable you to be well equipped with all the concepts required to crack your mathematics exam guys with that note uh, let's start this video before starting this video if you are a gate aspirant then i have an exciting news for you because this republic day pw gatewala is providing huge discounts on all its courses related to gate 2025 and 2026 and with this offers i think this is the right time to start your gate preparation guys talking about the batches coming under this offer parakram 2025 chemical is coming at an offer price of just rupees 8999 parakram 2025 data science and ai is coming at rupees 5600 only parakram 2025 cs and da is coming at an offer price of 8999 parakram 2025 plus esc plus gate plus psu batch b is coming at an offer price of just rupees 12999 guys and shreshth esc gate 2026 batch b is available at just rupees 16999 Parakram Gate 2025 Batch C is available at just rupees 5600 and Shreshth Gate plus PSU plus Placements Preparation 2026 Batch C. This is available at just rupees 16,999, guys. Just going through the features of these courses, and I was really fascinated to see that uh, classes will be going on from Monday to Friday, and you will have topic wise practice sheets for which video solutions will also be uploaded, and PYQs in quiz format will be present so that you will be able to test your preparation consistently. And PW under this offer is giving Gate Khazana with 2025 and 2026 batches at just rupees 11, in which you will get recorded lectures by India's best faculties on PW app and DPPs and DPP solutions will also be provided in both the languages. I don't want anybody to miss out on this exciting deal guys. And along with that, PW Gatewala's topic wise previous year question book set which consists of two books, one technical and non-technical will prove to be an asset in terms of your gate preparation. The embedded QR codes with each and every question through which you can access the video solution is the standard feature according to me and links for all these batches have been given in the description so me please make sure you check it out guys and what's more exciting is the fact that you can use my code which i'm displaying over the screen right now to get additional rupees 500 off on all these courses guys so what are you waiting for this republic day enroll to your favorite batch at physics wala and take your gate preparation to the next level guys we're talking about your mathematics examination or engineering mathematics one to be precise uh, m1 is a subject which is comparatively easy compared to M2. So when you talk about scoring well in your M1, it only requires minimum level of hard work and I'll tell you how you can prepare for this maths examination in just a span of two to three days because that is the time which is left right now. Yeah. First, talking about the resources, I'll be giving a link for a textbook it's popularly called KSC and I referred this textbook for M1 and this is kind of a holy book when it comes to cracking M1 examinations guys. So I'll be giving the link for it. I hope many of you will be having it right now. But still, if you are someone who doesn't have it, then uh, make sure that you download it and keep it in your uh, mobile phone or in your laptop so that that will come handy while you're preparing. Now you have the textbook and then it is important to gather notes. If you are someone who won't write notes, then make sure that you gather notes which has been dealt in class because the questions which will be dealt in class will be very much handpicked and those questions will be having a higher probability of appearing in your examinations. Okay, now you have some notes uh, based on what has been taught in your class and this holy book. Now how should be your uh, go about or how should you go about things? Yes. Uh, First things first, just go module by module and uh, even when you are going module by module, make sure that you are going one concept by another concept because when you see a module uh, as a big thing, it looks like a big entity altogether and you won't be feeling like studying itself. So much is there in this module. These things will be running in your mind and I want all of you to just go 
concept by concept in that particular module or topic by topic in that particular module and uh, you will probably be having uh, majority of the portion under calculus that is differentiation and integration so make sure that your basics are strong i think by now at least you'll be uh, in a position to uh, arrive to the differential or the integral of a particular expression yeah, i hope all of you have a strong foundation of basic integration and differentiation by now and that is more than enough guys trust me you need not know high level integration or high level differentiation and all for uh, cracking m1 for, to be honest take a concept suppose you take partial differentiation understand what is partial differentiation give it around 20 to 30 minutes see how things work or how uh, the questions which are dealt in class or solved in class go through each and every step you will understand how these things work or the complete uh, flow chart or complete procedure to crack that type of questions now is the time you open the textbook or you just uh, open the PDF of the textbook which I have given in the description. Now is the time you should be just going through the questions which are there under that particular topic. Questions are really easy and up to the point in this textbook. So I want all of you to just refer this rather than other many other textbooks which are available in the market. I would strongly suggest this one. And once you are in a position to solve around two to three or three to four questions from that topic. I want all of you to just move on because when there is very less time left, you need not solve each and every question which is coming under that particular main. Take or choose two to three questions which will enable you to, uh, to get that confidence of solving any questions which come under that profile. With that, you are completing a topic. You are apparently completing a topic and that shouldn't be enough guys because mathematics you have a lot of derivations too and I don't want you to miss out on uh, the marks which are allocated for derivations especially because these are considered as free marks and I want all of you to grab it. So make sure that you as soon as you complete a module, you cover off all the derivations in it too so that you need not come back and go through derivations once again. So I want all of you to practice your derivations by writing it on a sheet of paper and uh, so that that will be sent into your long term memory and this will definitely work. Talking about model papers or previous year papers of VTU solving them, I don't think you should be covering the entire syllabus first and then solving model papers like we were doing in case of JE or NEET examination guys. I don't want you to do that or I won't recommend students to do that. I'll tell you why and even I, I won't have a habit of doing that. Guys, according to us, the syllabus is never done. Even if we do the entire syllabus thoroughly, we won't be in a position to tell that the entire syllabus is done and that will refrain us, that will make us uh, stay away from going through these model papers or solving these model papers entirely. So all I want you to do is to just go through the model papers once a single module is complete. Yeah, once you complete a module, you'll be thorough with that particular module. Go through the model question papers or previous year question papers which has been asked by VTU and then go through the questions which are from that particular module and see if you can solve them. If you aren't able to solve them, see the solution, go through the solution and understand where you went wrong and that is how uh, the process is guys. It's not about solving each and every question at the first take itself. It doesn't happen like that and it is completely fine if it doesn't happen like that. I want you to know this fact or acknowledge this fact that it's not mandatory to solve each and every question after soon as completing a module. You'll be solving certain amount of questions while you are practicing itself and that will enable you to solve the questions which is coming over there. But still, if you manage to uh, be stuck somewhere, then I think you should be observing where you went wrong and just correcting it so that you won't make the same mistake on the examination day, guys. Now, first thing is the about resources. We covered it and then about how to complete an individual topic. Yes, I talked about it. And then talking about the model papers, which many of you were asking. I think I covered it too. Now, uh, in the end, let me address a question which many of you are asking, guys. Is it okay if we just go through the important questions or TIE notes and that is a major thing? I personally am not a huge fan of solving just important questions and entering the examination hall, guys. Because I've seen people do it and I've seen them falter. Uh, in a huge manner and I don't want anybody who is watching this video to miss out on uh, certain easy questions which will be appearing in your examinations and for that reason I would like to make you understand the fact that before becoming important questions even they were questions once and I want all of you to be in a position to solve each and every question and then focus more on these important questions so that you won't be missing out if these important questions appear in your examination or even if something comes out of these important questions you will be in a position to solve that too and with that you will be completing everything you will be leaving no stone unturned and you will be examination ready guys 
again all the best for all of you who are watching this video and uh, i feel all of you have that ability to give that minimum level of hard work it's not that you should be studying very hard and all i have been telling in this by in my last two videos also yeah all you have to do is to just follow whatever i told in this video and give your 110 percent effort at least in these two to three days however the entire sem will be wandering around and we'll be wasting time and now is the time where we all should be serious and this is the time which will never come back again i want all of you to acknowledge the fact that you should be preparing whatever you have in store right now itself and once you complete your examination i don't want anybody to regret on this preparation phase leave results leave results aside i don't want anybody to regret about your preparation that you could have done better guys and uh, uh, if you have any kind of doubts regarding your uh, semester and examinations precisely then make sure that you put it in the comment section share this video with your friends too guys so that even they'll get inputs on how they can go about preparing for their maths examination if you manage to grab something informative out of this video then make sure that you hit the like button so that that will help this video to reach a lot of first semester students out there so that they'll be benefited somehow by your effort and with that note uh, this is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together guys thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye